Okay, I'm gonna use the EXS sampler again, and I'm gonna bring in a sample and show you how to uh, chop out just a, a hit, a single hit in this case. Go back into my little sample library here, and I've got this really great thing I took off of the radio. Just take a listen to this. So when I heard it, you know, I said, wow, <laughs> I could adopt that <laughs> and stick it in something that I want to do. I was looking for a sound of my own, but it ended up being a sound for the town. Really cool. Incidentally, the person we're hearing here is Chuck Brown, considered the godfather of East Coast go-go music. So I want to take this and bring it in my session, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to take one of those horn hits and turn it into a, a sample, sampler instrument. So it's this horn hit that I really love. There's a couple more here. I'll just go for this one right here. I'm just going to marquee this and then I'll, uh, I'll go tweak this in a second. Okay. That's a basic idea. I'm going to just put a little crossfade on a little shift control, put a crossfade on the end to get rid of that little pop. This is going to benefit from some uh, reverb in a second here. Because I put the crossfade on the end, in order for this to trigger properly in the sample, I need to create a new audio file. So I'll use a technique called bounce in place. It's just control B on your keyboard and you get this uh, dialog box. I'll call this horns. Have it go to a new track, mute the original. I don't have any effects. I don't need to worry about that. And normalizes off, just say okay. Okay, and that makes an audio file with that fade burned into the audio. So I can go ahead and delete this now. So I wanna bring in my sampler instrument here. I'm gonna create a software instrument track. And on that software instrument track, go to instruments, EXS stereo. Okay, the sampler's empty. I want to go into the edit window and I'm just going to drag this sample in. And it's key mapped across the keyboard right now. We've seen this. So that's some cool stuff right there anyways. And it is pitched to the C3. So I'm going to use the locators here to just Put that sample only on that C3. I want to make it a one shot. Doesn't matter how long I hold the key on my keyboard, it's going to play that sample front to end. Put a little reverb on this. Audio effects. It's going to make it sound really cool. Go into medium. Oh, just a small hall. Okay, put this into the, the mix here. I'll un Let's bump up the BPM a little bit. 100. This is an app loop, so it's going to follow right along. Pretty cool. I want to quantize that so it's right on the beat and I was playing just eighth notes so I'll go here to quantize and say eighth notes and snaps things into place. Go on unmute our uh, riser track here and put the whole thing together. There it is, bunch of samples, bunch of programming. I got the beginning of a cool little beat.